and capability and alignment, wrap up and next steps from John Jepson and Martin Quandro. John, Martin. Thank you very much um, to David, Philippe, Chad, and Pierrick for their presentations. Um, acknowledging we're standing in the way of lunch, so John and I are going to have a really quick five-minute wrap-up. Um, so maybe over to you first, John. ThoughtWorks. Yeah. So ThoughtWorks started, as you probably remember, to give us some industry best practices on uh, product uh, management and portfolio management and, and the explaining the challenges of keeping the focus on, you can say, the outcomes instead of always deep diving into the, the what and, and the how, which I think we probably proudly can say that we are victim of, that we, we sometimes need to step a bit back and, and look at the, at the broader picture of, of how we generate the value. So this is part of the discussions which we have had in, in the uh, with, around the operating model already. Um, I think the other thing which we mentioned quite in, uh, so a lot was that we needed feedback loops. This is part of what we are trying to achieve also with the operating model. Uh, creating, you can say, the feedback loops between the value adoption or the use and back to the capability teams. Um, and they were highlighting quite importantly the communication and that we are a diverse organization with a lot of different teams working. And uh, I think uh, Pierre just emphasized it once more, that communications is key, that we need to speak out, we need to reach out to the different teams which are involved across, um, and make sure that we are all aware and that we are involved at the right time. So again, that was uh, very helpful. I think the only thing, um, which I noticed, and I, James did uh, try to save it at the end, was that Sapner said that you need sort of the wider you, but Sapna ThoughtWorks are part of the community of Sapna, so it's we. So please, um, please uh, keep up the good work and help us uh, improve the way we work. Thanks. Yeah, and thanks to James and Satner, I think in Paris as well, um, did a really good job helping uh, us to crystallize our thinking and, and contribute to helping to evolve that uh, draft operator model. Uh, let's move, oops, sorry. Let's go back to, I think we've had enough on the forum acceleration, so we'll move down just to some key takeaways. Um, so, David and geospatial consumption zones. So, the two uh, takeaways I had from that were um, the success and the speed of delivery uh, for that piece uh, was down to the high level of contribution. So, thank you very much to everybody that has contributed so far to that effort. That's, that's been amazing. Um, and a call out for a stable uh, and shared data and dev environment. I think on to Philippe, Reservoir DDMS. Um, so I took from this, and, and please add if, you, if I'm missing anything from your thoughts, John. Sure. Um, having a single team work collaborat collaboratively across the da data def and DDMS pieces has actually added really good value. Um, great um, cloud service provider involvement as well has contributed to that success. I think they need a cross DDMS working group, so to enable greater integration. Um, there's a little bit of discussion around um, helping to reduce the number of concurrent objectives. So understaffed, maybe focus on a little bit less and, and deliver that quicker and better. Um, interestingly, um, the constraints supplied by the graph data model technologies, um, and again, a call out for a dev environment. Um, on to Chad and Pierrick. Uh, so capability for them and us means building all of the pieces to enable those business workflows, drive up the data value, and each item needs deep expertise. Um, so everybody's contributing to bringing that deep expertise um, to this work. 
Um, we'd like to see ongoing and better interfacing between the various groups, dependent groups, and the forum must be a truly agile uh, forum and, and continue to uh, work in those ways. And I think finishing off with that communicate, communicate, communicate message that Pierre gave, um, and the other one from earlier that really resonated with me, team sport, team sport, team sport. Okay, um, we've already had the Formula One analogy, um, and that's great because I love Formula One. Uh, I wouldn't like to be in the mix of the Chris, uh, Christian Horner and Toto Wolf battle. That must be a little bit touchy at times. Anyway, uh, I guess what are the what are the kind of the next steps? We've talked a lot about how we can um, improve the cycle time. Um, we're chasing this value. We want more adoption, etc. So talked about the operating model. We've got a lot of work to do in that. Uh, Ian was mentioning earlier, you know, we need to work this with people. Please, if you're interested in helping the ways of working improve, come and have a chat at the break. Uh, we've had, got to have a lot more conversation about roles and responsibilities um, to, to support and drive the ways of working in, in the new operating model. Um, managing and embedding the change. So I think everybody uh, is aware that you can come up with, with a good idea around you know, a new way of working, but we've got to add some capability to help us through that change and not remove the capability until it's embedded and it's kind of, a, you know, the muscle memory has formed. It's, it, it, it is an easy way for us to work. And continuing and developing and releasing the code, that's all important to enable our ambitions so team sport, team sport, team sport. John. Maybe it's, it's worth to mention that the change is not a, you can say we are not a sort of going from a frozen state to a completely thawed and then going back to a frozen. Um, it's more like we are trying to build the platform which allow us to continuously change. And um, if you are interested in, in thoughts around uh, change and change management, then uh, you should have a look at Aina's blog post, mm. very recent blog post, where he describes the challenges and opportunities, I guess, for around the change and the way of looking at change management. It's very interesting. So. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think maybe we head to lunch. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>